Clear the Oregon Ducks with the University of Oregon, and it is our pleasure to present for you our strategies and recommendations for Minor International in order to achieve growth through innovation. Despite recent environmental and political turmoil within the region, Mint has emerged as the market leader in the hospitality and leisure industry within Asia Pacific. As the market leader, Mint has identified a five-year strategic plan in order to achieve double-digit growth through 2019 and to create innovative, aggressive expansion strategies that are consistent with the company's three pillars of growth. In order to accomplish this five-year plan, we intend to differentiate MET from its competitors and to capitalize on economic trends and industry innovations. In doing so, we believe that MINT can increase its time market value by 205 million baht in 2016 and continue to grow new revenue streams at 54% compound annual growth rate until 2020. So why do we believe that this is possible? We recognize a number of industry trends, specifically the recent growth in chain consumer food service. Mint and its competitors are already leveraging social network and healthy menus in order to attract the growing number of consumers that are eating out at food service restaurants because of the rising incomes in Thailand. The food service market is evolving. Some strong trends within Mint's market regions include a decline in owner-operated food stalls and kiosks, but an increase in franchised food stalls and kiosks. There's also an increase in demand for fast and takeout food. However, there's a gap in the market between food stalls and kiosks and fast food restaurants, and this represents a significant market opportunity. Mint is perfectly positioned to capitalize on this gap by offering safe, quality, affordable food that is convenient for urban consumers with busy, hectic lives. To be clear, Mint should absolutely pursue its existing expansion plans and continue to diversify its portfolio. But our innovative solution would complement Mint's existing strategies and ensure Mint achieves its growth targets. Our strategy is consistent with Mint's history as an innovator and market pioneer. It's also a blue ocean strategy, meaning Mint would have the advantage of being the first mover into a vast, untapped market. We recommend adding franchised food trucks to Mint's portfolio of business strategies. Food trucks are one of the biggest and hottest trends in food service in the U.S. Fast food brands have recently started franchising food trucks in the U.S. and are rapidly gaining market share. Food trucks are essentially restaurants on wheels. They offer the conveniences and amenities of restaurants, including full kitchens and comfortable seating, but with the advantage of mobility. Franchised food trucks would offer Mint several advantages. First of all, food trucks would create a new revenue stream that does not require significant capital investments and has low operating expenses. Existing franchise locations could be used as hubs for supplying and stocking food trucks. Food trucks also offer a highly visible advertising and marketing platform. Most importantly, because food trucks are mobile, they will allow Mint to capitalize on high traffic areas, events, and times of day. As our team was analyzing this case, we tried to focus on out-of-the-box solutions that would provide Mint with a constructive and scalable type of growth. In that way, we tried to make our plan fit with Mint's current core competencies. So what are those core competencies? Mint currently has over nine available franchises across Thailand. Domestically, that can provide support for these food trucks. Also, Mint can use the, their economies of scale to increase food truck locations. Third, we can provide superior customer and, um, and uh, professional experience with, through our, our trained employees. And lastly, we can provide risk mitigation because these food trucks will provide Mint with a portfolio diversification strategy. Next, we focused on how this, mint, this food truck solution would, al would align with Mint's pillars of excellence. Uh, firstly, it provides Mint with a portfolio diversification. This is an innovative strategic plan and it can help Mint get into those locations and expand. Next, we can maximize the asset value. These food trucks are low capital investment, they have low overhead, and they have a high return. And next, we focused on expanding internationally. We can take this food truck solution plan and we can bring it to Australia or China fairly easily. And lastly, I want to focus on Mint's competitive advantages in this space. Mint can provide superior quality with these food trucks. We can offer unique and differentiated menus. 
We can provide superior responsiveness. We can take these food trucks to the locations where there's high density of customers. We can provide superior efficiency. These food trucks are mobile kitchens on wheels. We can be in and out of locations very quickly. And lastly, we'll provide superior technological attachment with our customers. We can essentially create, a, we can co-create with our customers to tell them where the food trucks will be and, uh, and when they'll be there. Our solution can be defined on a five-year strategy. In year one, we, we really want to focus on the Thailand market. In the year two, we believe that uh, expanding to Australia will bring a, a very good successful uh, result. And in year three, we want to tackle in the, the Singaporean market. Our estimations are very conservative. In Thailand, food trucks cost around 3 million 200 bahts. Um, every customer spends around 150 bahts per meal, and we have estimated that each truck will bring 75 customers per day. In the US, margins for these operations are between 9 and 10%, but we believe that it means uh, economies of scale and synergies, those uh, margins for this revenue channel will, will increase to between 15 and 20%. Regarding our talent strategy, we believe that the number of trucks for uh, year one will be a 5% of the current number of restaurants that the mean has of all, their, of all the brands, increasing to a 40% in 2020. In year 2016, in Thailand, this new revenue channel will bring 205 million bahts, increasing a 54% compound annual growth rate until 2020, reaching 1,765 million bahts in revenues. Regarding our international markets, in Australia, in Australia, uh, in 2017, uh, we forecast uh, revenues of 102 million uh, Australian dollars and in 2018 in Singapore uh, revenues of 20.5 million Singaporean dollars. We believe that we have identified an innovative blue ocean strategy that will help Mint succeed in becoming further a market leader. In order to measure the growth of the strategy, we will not only use traditional financial metrics, but look at increased market share and increased brand awareness, which can be accomplished by reaching an increased number of customers per day and per year through these food trucks, and by using the food trucks as an advertising platform for Mint's integrative communication strategy. We believe that franchise food trucks offer Mint a new revenue channel and a strong point of differentiation. Through our five-year food truck rollout strategy, Mint will achieve its goal of double-digit growth and remain the market leader in the industry. Thank you very much.